Okay. I'm almost ready. But as long as you're okay, ready. Okay, got it. Jess I'm Ball ready. of MWWB. Hello. Uh, good evening. Hi. It's, it's what, five o'clock in the UK right now? It so. is 17.01 at the moment. <laughs> so uh, thank you for for taking the time in your in your early evening no to worries. chat. It is appreciated. Uh, no worries. So your record rules. Um, congratulations on that. Thank uh, you. I, I can't imagine that's a surprise to hear uh, four albums deep. Oh, there you are. Are we still recording? We're still recording. So anyway, yes, right. <laughs> uh, not my best work. Um, <laughs> so, so, so you're four albums deep, um, and but you've been sitting on this one since what? The end of 2019. Um. So we are one year delayed on the release. So right. March one year ago is when it was due for release. Um. So obviously, um, the, well, the reason for that is um, I'm sure some people know, yeah, our guitarist, Paul, sadly, um, had COVID and succumbed, but he had a stroke um, because of the COVID. So, but he's um, doing well now, you know, but obviously at the time it was a bit touch and go. So I didn't want to release anything whilst he was in that situation. So I thought it would be best to give it a good year, you know, and I'm glad I did because now we can all share in it together. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Um, it seems like things were pretty dire there for for yeah. a while, so. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's interesting that that it was, that it was a question of, okay, just push this to the mm -hmm. side now, where, mm -hmm. whereas I have to think in some cases it would almost be, that much more urgent to get the album out mm. yeah i think in um that situation um it really comes down probably just to a personal choice and and bringing in you know the consideration of others feelings right. um for, for me um it was the best idea i mean personally the idea of of bringing something like that out of all the work that he put into it without him sharing in it would have just been awful. I think there wouldn't have been much joy in it. And ultimately that's why you do music or why we do music anyway, um, is because we love it. We love doing it. We love making it. So it wouldn't have, it just didn't seem right, you know, to, for him not to be able to share in um, how his work would be received you know mm -hmm. yeah and what is what is his status now i mean this is obviously i think that counts as severe long term got you <laughs> okay we'll deal with these little uh <laughs> online glitches thank you and i apologize <laughs> no, it's fine. for existing if i could tell you if i could tell you the morning i've had it's just oh really it's well so it's all internet related we're living we're living we're living it right now so, <laughs> oh dear alas. um yeah. yeah what is paul's situation now right so yeah he's um he's doing really well um which sounds strange because he's you know still currently in the rehabilitation um and you know relearning speech and and how to walk and everything again um but if you consider where he's come from um you know at one point you know we didn't think he was even gonna be here with us anymore um to now is incredible um so uh he's he's doing really well he's healthy you know all the scares have gone now it's just a case of um yeah getting back to shape basically but he's still the same old Paul he's still you know exactly the same which is which is really um great to know you know because we you know you don't know in that situation right but um yeah he's still and I still send him regular video messages to annoy him <laughs> just so he doesn't forget <laughs> but it, so I mean but thinking about sort of you know the last 
what the last year has been, what the last couple of years have been. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of got to be, it's almost like a different, it's a, it's a different life for the band than, than it was, you know, already, already making Mm -hmm. the album. It was, Mm -hmm. it was a a massively different Mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. And now it was even more yeah, so yeah how do you feel about how do you feel about this record in light of of everything that's happened since you started making it um so now um obvi- i mean obviously it's a lot more special to me um because um i know we won't ever release anything that would be like that again. I wouldn't go as far to say that we wouldn't release anything ever again. Um, It might be something quite different in the future. Um, But yeah, especially because this is, you know, what he worked so hard to create this album. And, you know, he was really, we were all sort of at our peak um, of, of the band being together. Well, you know, me and Dave, more specifically i'm uh, sorry i call him dave <laughs> that's his nickname which is a very strange thing because <laughs> it's a common it's, it's such a common name <laughs> yes that is as, as nicknames go you're right for someone <laughs> for someone whose name uh david <laughs> yes um, for so, paul yeah. I, I must remember to say his name um yeah so this obviously this album is extremely special you can call him dave <laughs> I know, I just like confuse people sometimes, which is understandable. It's a, it, it makes for it makes for a great band bio. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Everybody has like five names. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, because it may be the last one that we sound like this. It's very, very. I hold very close to my heart this one. Mm. Yeah. What? I mean, ha- have you given any thought to? moving forward or what that even would or could look like yeah um I not really to be quite honest um it's been so you know it's obviously things were so touch and go for so long and we never really even wasn't sure we were actually going to get to this point Mm. um so I've just been really focused on us bringing this out sharing in the joy with um Paul um and the future is quite uncertain at at this point um but yeah i will be the first person to to create music with paul when he's if and when he's ready if that's something that he wants to do which i'm sure it is Mm. Uh, but as far as what that would look like i i haven't really given that too much consideration yet i've just been so happy that um, we can bring this album out finally yeah that's fair um it, it's it's sort of to me it sounds very of a step right mm-hmm. with with mm-hmm. where the band was um at the same time i i feel compelled by outside mm-hmm. forces uh mm-hmm. weighing on me the to ask mm-hmm. you about mm-hmm changing the name of the band um yeah of course (laughs) here's the scenario i have in my mind please tell me if i'm wrong and i know i am (laughs) years ago started a band called mammoth weed wizard bastard (laughs) golly that's fun it's a good name it is it is uh (laughs) and and i and i appreciate the aesthetic of it Mm -hmm. um i appreciate the fact that there is a selection of bands from around the uk that have awesomely ridiculously (laughs) stoned names i love it Uh no i do really i love it i love it um and i respect it moreover uh Mm -hmm. so let's say a few years go by as mammoth weed wizard bastard it turns out you're a much better band than you ever expected to be (laughs) right and there are and there are people paying attention and you're getting asked to do big shows Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe it changes some of how you feel about calling yourselves mammoth weed wizard bastard (laughs) am i 
totally off base. Feel free to say <laughs> so, yes. As, uh, everything was correct up until the very last bit with like totally own being called Mammoth <laughs> with his glasses. That is, that is wonderful. <laughs> and uh, it, it did uh, fill me with joy when uh, seeing it um, slightly censored sometimes and uh, hearing DJs awkwardly having to say it quickly on the uh, on the radio <laughs> just to cause a bit of disruption you know right. but um no you totally you are like totally spot on um as everything else because that's exactly how it played out really it was very yeah it was almost a throwaway thing at the time when we were when we were creating it, it's like yeah let's just put bastard on the end you know <laughs> and then it's like oh no <laughs> Right, right. Actually, I mean, it's e it's uh, easy to things. imagine. It's easy to imagine the band in the rehearsal space being like, "Sounds like some mammoth weed wizard <laughs> bastard." Exactly. And, and there yeah. it is, right? Yeah, no, totally, totally. Pretty spot on. Um, as far as uh, turning, I mean, you know, MWWB, we we got called that a lot too. Um, anyway, um, so you know putting it into the acronym was almost um you know it wasn't anything that has had any like big reason behind it I think it was just yeah it's, it was more sort of Paul's um idea basically um he wanted to just shorten it and we thought it was cooler almost like almost quite exclusive in a way because it's like if you know what it is already <laughs> kind of thing right if you're in on it Right. yeah exactly yeah. you know so you know i was like yeah you know let's go for it and it made for some really cool beanies uh with the mm. nww on the front so you know merch it was easier <laughs> <laughs> right yeah i guess you would kind of go all the way around the hat otherwise <laughs> exactly. right yeah fair enough, you know, so fair enough. It, had, it had some uh, other advantages <laughs> right. also though and and the harvest is is the first album title in english yeah yeah mm, yes tell me about that uh i well um i was um given the the role of naming the album um and i just felt that's just what it felt like it should be um sort of after you know not getting too like deep or cheesy about it but after no please the, get deep and cheesy other, <laughs> no please um, let's go after the um the other albums i felt like we'd really captured what our sound was now you know so it's sort of like almost har harvesting all of the work and effort that we put into it writing together and you know um so yeah that's just what it felt like it should be really to me I like that. That's cool. See, mm -hmm. deep and cheesy works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Indeed. do you like it sometimes. I like that. Um, <laughs> okay. And we're back after that short commercial break. <laughs> so, um, you mentioned before, uh, two seconds ago, if you're watching mm -hmm. this interview, uh, the the idea of the harvest as as quite literally harvesting everything the band had been had become to that point mm -hmm. um at the same time it does feel like the harvest pushes that further along those lines of kind of thinking of uh in some of the synth interludes uh, mm -hmm. sort of pushing into industrial beats mm -hmm. um and things like that and sort of even how even how all of that meshes with the mammoth mm -hmm. weedness uh mm -hmm. of, of what's going on in the riffs and the bass and the drums um was there, as as the band has sort of continued to evolve, or at least up to up to this point, mm -hmm. how conscious of you of the sound mm -hmm. have you been? Yeah, um, it's an interesting question, really, because um, I personally, and I think for Paul too. Um, I think it's it happened really organically, um, which was which is kind of the way that we've always worked. 
which is really nice, which always keep, keeps it um, interesting for us too. Um, uh, Paul, he really likes um, sci-fi sort of, which you can hear in The Harvest quite a lot. Like he wanted to go down the route of creating a bit more sort of like soundtracky kind of vibe, basically, which I was totally down for. Um, so a lot of it, was more yeah like I say a bit more organic sort of that do it working together because we we had um 10 days in the studio in a residential studio so we're just 10 days in the in the middle of the Welsh hills no distractions um you know we have obviously we have some you know basics of the songs but the rest of it and especially sort of the um soundtracky parts were sort of written you know um, there mostly and um, added to there which is really I really like that way of working because it really you draw in the influence of of your surroundings you know sure and your mood at the time and how you're feeling and I said same with vocals I do that much to um Paul's you know and he finds it really frustrating because I'll just turn up and be like oh I'm doing this now <laughs> but uh it's just it's just the, I was like this is just the way I work <laughs> okay <laughs> you know so but you need that I pressure wanted, yes. yeah I just wanted to be um em emotionally relevant at the time you mm. know you can sort of have you know I, I go in with some idea of what I'm doing I'm not like completely clueless but I mean um I think when you know it if I'm listening back to what the work that I've done it's important to me that it sort of stirs some emotion in me, even listening back. You know, how can I expect that from anybody else if I don't do that for myself? So that's why I like it to be the lyrics and sometimes the melody to be a bit more just drawn from like the moment or the time that I'm in. Yeah. That's very interesting yeah. um, because, you know, it. I mean, obviously, it's it's an emotive vocal style, vocal performance yeah, uh, yeah. that you have. Um, but what that kind of speaks to to me is a sense of immediacy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 among the things one generally thinks of your band as being is not necessarily not punch you in the face immediate, <laughs> right? No. Um, so so to to have that that sense of immediacy underlying is 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 very interesting from mm. from that standpoint um oh yeah yeah did the in terms of putting together those those soundtracky synthy sci-fi parts how much was in terms of in terms of timing and and how you know the actual when it was done did you know where the parts were going to go how they were going to play off the songs were you was it something that was no no not no. at all <laughs> not cool. at all yeah um, <laughs> okay there's no wrong answer yeah no <laughs> not getting marked on this right only stupid questions <laughs> um so um i because also because paul that sort of was his um sort of thing and stamp that he wanted to put especially on this album um, it, um, some things obviously he would have come done at home maybe you know on his own coming up with his own synth sounds and messing around and stuff so I wasn't always privy to that um, but um, it, that is just the best part of the whole process to me is, is literally the, the time that you get to sort of play with your toys basically you know messing around with the bleeps and the bloops and like you know reversing some vocals and reversing it and putting loads of effects on it it's, you know it's things that you don't you can't even pre-plan you know you don't sit there thinking oh, I'm going to do that you have a few ideas but um ultimately you know and, and, I, and I'm sure obviously not all bands operate like that um but I think of it as sort of like uh, just like throwing paint at a <laughs> canvas basically it's just like and seeing what comes out at the end in a way, but with style. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, trusting, trusting the process of it, you know. 
Well, at the same time, you've been through that process three times prior. Yeah, at this point. exactly. Yeah, so exactly. So it kind of it it just naturally falls into your what our sound is, you know. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And and okay, okay. Yeah. Describe <laughs> that sound for me. What is your sound to you? Um. Uh, so mine personally, or sort of what I interpret as a band, mine personally, um, it's I would say it's sort of moody, moody. Uh, it's probably words that might pop up already in sort of descriptions, but sort of moody, ethereal, um, gothy, if that's a, a thing. That's a word. Yeah, sort of, uh, gen, you know, angelic and gentle, but, um, almost, yeah, like it's sweet, but something's not right under the surface. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I'd like to go for that. Okay. <laughs> something, something foreboding, perhaps? Yeah, it's like, it looks okay, but is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is, that is kind of the balance in the sound, right, is between. Yeah exactly that, the heavy Contra. low the the low lows and the high highs is mm-hmm. kind of you know, there's so much sort of floating over top and then underneath it's all just yeah crushing and destructive <laughs> exactly and so nice, on. Uh, effortlessly floating above it all <laughs> congratulations on that by the way <laughs> the the effortless floating <laughs> um so mwwb the harvest Mm -hmm. nobody knows what's happening next no i must say um i i wouldn't like to to just put a pin on anything at this point you did during sort of pandemic as if it's over Mm -hmm. uh you you did solo videos yeah yeah i did um any any inkling that that might be something you'd pursue or more of more of that style stuff or or yeah yeah definitely I'm I'm I am pursuing that um like full force I guess really Mm -hmm. um it's something that I've been working on um on you know alongside MWWB for a while so it's not um it's not like one's ended and I'm now starting another thing right um it's a project that I've slowly been sort of chipping away at um and then sort of yeah the lockdown presented plenty of time to work on that <laughs> so yes. thank you lockdown yeah <laughs> um yeah so that's uh, that's something i'm definitely seeing um it's called i e y e is the project oh i'll google it <laughs> and and yeah good luck <laughs> yes I know. Yeah, didn't think about that really at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to put glasses on the end or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I bastard. I'm not... Yeah, it looks like sounds amazing actually. It's just crazy <laughs> enough to work, is what that is. It's just crazy I enough to work. It. That's brilliant. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm so... glad we got that worked out. <laughs> yeah. But okay, but but what are 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 there any concrete plans or is it just kind of as it Uh, with I um yeah yeah, so um we've actually played a couple of real life gigs um we we, a couple of weeks ago we played in London and we've got we're playing in my city where I live in Cardiff in the UK in a couple of weeks so we've got a handful of gigs coming up so we're starting to like become a real band now um so that's Quite kind of different to um, MWWB, just in the way that it's not um it's not heavy doom basically, but it's still I'm still singing in sort of my kind of vocal style. Um, I'm playing guitar on that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm a guitarist first, so it's really nice to be able to play um my songs on my instrument basically. Um, and we have sort of yes synths and um drums, just a three piece. It is nice and simple, <laughs> not loads of gear. Right. <laughs> it's a dream. <laughs> yes, yes. I, yes, I understand. I understand yes. that. Lugging the, I, the full I said stacks. He is. I yes. was like, next one's three piece. <laughs> simple. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's fair, yeah. I think. 
Yeah, um, so it's, it's kind of like a porter's heady kind of style kind of vibe I'm going for. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a, still dark and moody, you know. There's yeah. there's all kinds of heavy. You can be all mm-hmm. kinds of heavy. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Um, the vibe the vibe I got from from those videos, I, you know, mm-hmm. following along as as you were posting, I recall oh, the okay. um, sort of uh, mm-hmm. atmospheric ethereal. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, if this is the last MWWB record, and of course I know that you that there is no distance from it at this point mm-hmm, necessarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel about what the band accomplished? If if this is it, I tell you what, I'm I'm absolutely over the moon about everything that has happened to us. I couldn't be more um, grateful for everything that's happened. Because, I mean, as you described earlier, it was literally as in um, an, on an industrial estate in a unit, you know, just making some, doing some riffs and just messing around, you know, calling it this ridiculous <laughs> name, <laughs> you know, to, you know, going on European tours and things. It was just, it was absolute, you know, I've had such a blast. And um, yeah, it's obviously it's it's it naturally is a shame that, you know, we we're not continuing to to soar basically, because it was going, you know, it was going well and there was a you know potential to come to the states and stuff like that. But um, you know, it that's just it's just the way it is and the sooner you sort of face reality on things the sooner you can feel better and sort of move on not I don't mean coldly move on just um you know um I think that we've been through so much sort of trauma traumatic things um that everything is just great now you know I couldn't wish for obviously I'd rather wish that this didn't happen but it is it's happened and the outcome has turned out to be a lot better than what was predicted. So I can't, you know, want for anything more than that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if this is the last one, then I'm, I'm, I'm happy with everything. You know, I have no sort of like bitterness or sadness in my heart as far as that goes, you know? That's the ideal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's that's wonderful. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna stop the recording. I think that's okay. I think that's actually a great place to leave it. So hang on wonderful. just one second. Um, Perfect. Thank but before you. I, before I do, just thank you again for the time and congratulations on thank on the you. album and and everything that the band has has accomplished. It's it's uh, it's been a joy to sort of follow along. Thank um, you. I appreciate it. All right, hang on just a second.